Once you log into Quick Creator, you'll see different ways to generate your blog. Just click on View All to see more options to get started. You're free to choose any of these to create the blog of your choice. The options range from keyword driven writing, topic expansion writing, product promotion, article fusion, and many more. For this demo, we'll be using keyword driven writing. This method allows us to input our target keyword of choice and generate a blog with it. Before we go on ahead and enter our primary keywords, keep in mind that you can use different keyword tools to research the best ones and place them here. For me, it would be SEO tools, trending, 2024. Next up, we actually recognize the significant topics for the same keywords from different target markets. That's why we conduct SERP analysis via data gathered from big search engines. Additionally, the creator prioritizes language content to highlight higher quality generation. We support over 20 major global languages, and this is more efficient than just translating from English to the language of your choice. As per the analysis that we've highlighted earlier, we gather data from content posted online and analyze them thoroughly. This allows us to provide the user a list of the best ideas for their chosen topics. I'm going to be choosing this right here, create a guide on adapting to SEO trends in 2024. Click on generate title when you're done. When the user's done choosing a topic, Quick Creator will provide a simulated TDK, which stands for title, keyword, and description. To add to that, in order to prevent generating the same content with other users in the same topic, we have a repetition parameter for this step, so you don't have to worry. If another user also uses the same keywords as you, keep in mind that the generated content will be much different from his and yours. Here at Quick Creator, we understand the importance of an outline. That's why we've embedded keywords in the outline. This can improve the SEO performance significantly. Additionally, it's not a secret anymore that Google wants to ensure the factuality and credibility of online content in order for them to be valuable to customers and users. That's the reason why we've added an option to do just that. By adding facts and evidence right here, it can automatically help users to verify the facts of the content itself. After that, you can opt to go to the editor. Here in the editor, you can choose to modify the sentences, the paragraphs, or the headings as you see fit. For example, if you don't like this phrase right here, you can just go ahead and delete it like so. The creator also gives you the ability to further customize the article itself. You can manually add blocks by clicking the green icon on the upper left right here. From here, you have the option to choose your block, whether it be header, call to action, footer, features, or others. So for me, I'm going to be choosing an image. You can choose to search an image on Pixabay right here. Just look up SEO or anything that matches the topic. For example, these images right here. But for me, I'm just going to be uploading one for myself. So I'll be choosing this picture right here. Now from what you see, the two images are too close to each other. So we're going to have to modify that. Let's just zoom out a bit like this. And when I want the image to be located right here under visual search, We'll just press on document overview right here. Just drag that slowly, drag it more until it reaches visual search like this. Moving on, once you're satisfied with the image placement, you can go on ahead to SEO. You can actually make a few modifications here. So under this section, you can change the URL itself. You can change the SEO title as well, the SEO descriptions, and even the keywords. Afterwards, you can go on ahead and go to improvements. So from here, you can see the on-page check allows you to see some modifications that you can follow and recommendations that you have to do in order to make your article better. For example, the H1 tag does not contain the target keywords. You can see the target keywords right here. And once you place the SEO tools trending 2024 under H1, then that means it'll be good to go. That goes for the other changes here. You can add the keywords to the meta description itself and the URL slug as well. Not only that, in terms of customization, you can also change the colors right here. For example, you want to change the font color of Google right here. So I'm gonna be replacing it into green, let's say. And we want to put search rankings in a highlighted manner. So we're gonna be highlighting it with red or orange, just like that. So it's that simple to change the colors of your article when it comes to its words, sentences, and everything.
Once you're fully satisfied with it, you can go ahead and go to Content Quality Score. Click on Score right here and wait for it to finish. Basically, the Content Quality Score is here to make sure that your content's quality is up to par. If not, we'll be recommending some changes that you can do to make sure that it's good to publish. Just follow the grading scale right here, and if it gets up to 80 to 100, that means it's good to go. So for experience, you can see a summarization right here of what areas you need to work on. and authoritativeness, you can see which areas you can also improve upon, and other changes that are hindering the quality of your blog. Once you follow all that, and then you hit Rescore, and then you see that your content quality score is up to the highest possible grade, that means it's good to publish. Let's say I've already done that, and we're going to click on Publish right now. Click on visit, and as you can see, your article is good to go. It's been successfully published, and it's now up live.